Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I grow my own tortoise food. This is a great way to feed your tortoise a healthy and varied diet, not to mention how much you'll save by not having to buy any shop-bought food or pellets. I usually start growing a selection of weeds and flowers around February to early March, so that these seedlings are ready to plant outside in the springtime, as this is when they grow the best outside here in the UK. However, you can grow from seeds at any time of year, providing you have heat, light and water for the seeds to grow. If you are planting seeds out in the colder months, then they'll do better if they're kept in a heated greenhouse or polytunnel, or you can grow them indoors on a windowsill. So let's get started. I keep my seeds in these little tubs, and the top row is my selection of grasses for my grass-eating species of tortoise. This is Timothy grass seed. And the next two rows are weeds and flowers. This one is pot marigold. Then down on the bottom row, I have any seeds that I've collected from my garden. And here are some dandelion seeds. Then I have another box of seeds that I like to use, like lamb's lettuce, pansy, forget-me-not, etc. I've already chosen a selection of weeds and flowers that I want to plant today. So here we have sainfoin. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Oh, and I've also prepared the plant sticks so I can put these in the tubs to remind me what I've planted where. We've got pot marigold, Livingston daisy, zinnia, well pansy, milk thistle, sea holly, tufted vetch, hedge wound wart, cornflower, plantain, and I've got two types here. The top one is narrow leaf plantain and the one below is broadleaf plantain. We've got two types of clover, red clover and white clover. We have muskmallow and finally some chicory. Incidentally, the plant tags that I'm using I got from a garden centre, but you can just as easily make your own, like I've done here. And this was a old butter or margarine lid, which I've cut into a point at one end so it can be pushed into the soil. So these are the seeds that I'll be planting this year, but please don't be put off by the number of different types that I'm growing. You don't need this many if you're doing this for the first time, and just a few packets of different seeds will be fine to get you started. Okay, so now we've chosen the seeds to plant, we can fill the seed trays almost at the top with soil. The ones that I'm using here were left out in the rain, so the soil is already damp, so I can just start planting the seeds straight away. First we'll do... how about some milk thistle? I personally tend to use these plug plant seed trays for the bigger seeds, as they tend to be bigger plants, and I find them easier to repot when I've grown them in these individual compartments. Next we have some pansies, and I'll pop two or three seeds in each of these pots. Then we'll do zinnia. These are fairly big seeds, so I'll use the plug seed trays for these plants. And again, I'll pop three or four seeds in each of these. The last one of this batch is Livingstone Daisy. Now these are tiny seeds, so I'll put a pinch of seeds in each compartment. Next, we'll lightly cover the seeds with some soil. Then very gently press the soil down. I have to say that gardening isn't my strongest point and I've had lots of failed attempts at this, but what I'm showing you here seems to work for most of the seeds that I'm using in this video. If there's any keen gardeners who are watching this video and you've got any tips and suggestions, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section of this video, as I'm sure we'd all benefit from this information. Now that all the seeds have a light covering of soil, we can spray the top layer. As I mentioned previously, the soil was quite damp already, so I only need to give the top layer a light spray. These can now be covered so that the seeds germinate, and you can either cover with these plastic propagator lids, or with plastic. 
Now I'll repeat the same process for the two types of clover and two types of plantain. So the plantain first, these are narrow leaf or ribwort plantain and some broadleaf plantain. Now the white clover and red clover. And again a light sprinkling of soil. As you may have noticed the soil underneath was quite damp so I didn't need to water it before I put the seeds in. And gently pat down, then a light spray of water and then we can cover with the propagator lids. The final lot that I'm doing is all smaller seeds and I'll be using these half seed trays. Once again I'll be planting one type of seed in each tray so that I can tell what the weeds will look like once they grow and that way I can also match these with the weeds in my garden or when I go out weed collecting. Previously I have used a tortoise seed mix that had a variety of different seeds in but I made the mistake of sprinkling the seed mix directly into my garden. Then when they started to grow other weeds also grew in amongst them and then I didn't know which were the tortoise safe weeds and which were the weeds that I couldn't give to my tortoises. So my advice is to grow them separately so it's easier to spot the other weeds that shouldn't be there and then you can easily remove them. Now that we've prepared these seed trays we can get planting. So this is cornflower and some hedge wound wart and some sainfoin and now tufted vetch and we'll try some sea holly. I've not planted this before so we can experiment on this one together and some chicory and then pot marigold and finally some musk mallow. Ah, this one's completely empty so we'll use some dandelion seeds I've collected from my garden instead. Then as before a light covering of soil, spray with some water and then we can cover them. I will keep the seed trays watered and covered up until the seedlings start to appear. Here they all are and I've placed them next to the window so they get as much natural light as possible and we'll come back in a few days to check on the progress. So this is five days later and we'll take a peek to see if there's anything that's growing. Oh good, the plantain is starting to make an appearance. Oh look at that, the clover's doing really well. This is normally the first to pop up so it's a good one to try out if you haven't planted seeds before. And my pansies. Nope, nothing happening in here yet. Oh, one tip is we don't want any condensation to go on our seedlings as this apparently kills them. Don't ask me why, but probably something to do with the gases, toxins or something like that. So if you notice any condensation appearing, then gently remove the lid, being careful not to knock it and spray the plants with the condensation. Then wipe it before placing the lid back on. And we'll have a quick peek at the other trays. Yes, looks like some of them are starting to appear. Any that have grown, say, half an inch or so, we can take the lids off these. Now, 14 days later, after we first planted the seeds, these are looking good. Hmm, I don't think my tortoises are going to be fat on this lot in here. And this is 22 days after sowing. Some of them have taken really well and others not as well as I'd hoped. As I mentioned before, they need water, heat and light to grow. So it could be any one of these three things that weren't quite right. Or it could be the seeds weren't the best quality as I have had them quite a while. Normally the seeds are okay for a year or two if they're kept in a cool, dry place. When they're about four inches high or have four leaves, then I suggest repotting them. Obviously some will never grow to four inches high like this Livingstone Daisy. So I'll repot them once they've grown on a bit and look strong healthy little plants. When they're ready to repot what I do is put them into these blue crates and then I dig the crates into the ground. This is so that in the autumn I can move the blue crates into my polytunnel so that the weeds and flowers will last a bit longer. Or if your greenhouse or polytunnel is heated then they'll keep growing over the winter months. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you get involved and plant out some weeds and flowers for your tortoise to enjoy this year too. Thanks for watching.